the collapse of the roof of a middle school gymnasium in northeastern China that left 11 dead has recently garnered public outcry. 19 people, including two coaches and 17 players of the school's women's team, were inside the facility in Chitihar City, Heilongjiang Province, when the concrete roof came down on the afternoon of July 23rd. As reported by AP News two days later, prosecutors are pursuing criminal charges against the managers of a construction firm. According to CNN, the players' ages were around 15 and 16. Preliminary investigations showed that construction materials left on the gym roof during work on a nearby building may have contributed to the collapse. Officials said that the material, known as perlite, collapsed because it became heavier after absorbing rainwater and becoming saturated. The tragedy at the number 34 middle school has sparked grief and outrage among the local community, as well as the general public. Images circulating in social media showed a large crowd of people gathered outside the school on July 24th, where a front walkway was covered with flowers brought by mourners. The accident, which adds to a long list of safety-related fatalities in China, has also sparked criticism of the government's handling, including accusations of a lag in releasing timely information. CNN cited a comment attracting 18,000 likes on social media, saying, Their first reaction is to block the news. Who cares about your child when they are scared of losing their positions? According to AP News, police and government departments worried over social unrest usually quickly suppress public expressions of anger and defiance. To maintain complete control over the media and social media, the ruling Communist Party allows no challenges to its dominance. Construction and industrial accidents are common in China, mainly resulting from companies ignoring safety standards and corruption, or a lack of diligence by local government agencies.